Welcome back. Denver Boulder's stay-at-home order just took effect a few minutes ago with Denver sending notification reminders to your phone. Now, with these orders, there seems to be a lot of confusion about what exactly that means for you and your family. Well, Contact 7 is here to help. Jessica Porter answering the questions you are asking us and clearing up some of that uncertainty for you. City leaders are sending a strong message. Coronavirus is an emergency. One of the challenges we've been having is getting the message out strongly enough that this is a big deal that we really do have to get people to stay six feet or more apart. Stay at home orders still allow you to go to the grocery store, pharmacy, hospital, a bank or to care for a loved one. These are considered essential activities, but you still need to maintain six feet of separation from you and others. We need you to stay home. If you're not on the essential list, if you're not making a run to the to the grocery store um, or to get something that's essential for you and your family during this time, we ask you to stay home. And that leads to our next question. What businesses can stay open? Essential businesses include the food industry, pet stores, hotels, dry cleaners, laundry mats, and skilled trades like plumbers. Liquor stores and marijuana dispensaries will stay open. So can you work out outside or go for a walk during the stay at home order? Yes, but you still need to stay six feet away from others. Cities are closing group activities like basketball courts, tennis courts, playgrounds and golf courses. And here's where things get complicated. What if you live in a city under a stay at home order, but work in a city that is not? That will be problematic. We are asking folks to stay at home. Um, and I think as we continue on with this effort in the metropolitan region, um, you may find other jurisdictions beginning to follow. Until that happens, neither Boulder or Denver has decided how it will handle outside commuting. And how will local governments enforce these orders? Denver and Boulder can issue $999 fines, but will likely give warnings. We don't intend to use that anytime soon, you know, unless people are being flagrant. I'm Jessica Porter, Denver 7.